We're about to send the first guitar pedal to space with this weather balloon, this orange parachute, and this Stratus attached to the front of this foam cooler. First guitar pedal to space in three, two, one. Psych. <laughs> Today, we're sending the first guitar pedal to space. The way we're gonna do that, we have a tarp laid out, we have a giant tank of helium. We're gonna lay the tank of helium on its side and we're gonna inflate a weather balloon. It's a huge balloon. The bottom of that balloon will be attached to the top of a parachute. And then the bottom of that four foot parachute will be attached to a foam cooler. We don't have it yet. We're about to get it out and set it up. There's a GoPro, a GPS tracker, battery pack, and of course, Stratus on the front of the cooler. We'll be tracking it along the way with the GPS tracker. We've labeled the outside so people don't think it's some sort of dangerous thingy falling from the sky that could hurt them. Hopefully we'll get it back. It should land about two and a half hours away. I'm screwing in this weather balloon inflator into the helium tank that we have set up. I think you can just hand tighten this. We will remove the balloon from the bag. I've never worked with a balloon this large before. This will be new to me. Kind of a lot to handle. Now what we're gonna do is, can you help me unroll this? We're gonna set it very gently on the tarp. Nothing on here, nothing pointy because you take your shoes off. This is how we're gonna mount the string to the balloon. I learned what a bowline is yesterday, so hopefully all of the knots I've made work. Mm, which way? Oh, this way. Okay. We're gonna go very slow. That's why you literally have to move it like barely. So right now what we're doing is we're inflating the weather balloon. Probably gonna use about 60% of the helium tank and we need exactly 2,266 grams of positive lift. Everybody shut. It's pretty good. Holding the thing, going the balloon up. I'm so happy it's not super windy today. It's probably not a lot of <laughs> Bye. So I can get like a more accurate read. Get an estimate. There's yeah, no way we're gonna make it exact. I mean, they give you this thing that's not the most precise tool in the yeah, world. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say, that, one, that thing's probably not the best. The big one? No, the smallest one's the smallest one. How, how big does it get once it goes up? About 30 feet in diameter at its maximum altitude. How am I supposed to get back down? The right angle, Stratus is in the shot. So I'm zip tying the GoPro in so it doesn't fall out. Here's our GPS tracker, which is set to track currently. We have a battery pack down there. GoPro is hooked up to the battery pack. Same thing with the GPS tracker. Uh, and then we're gonna throw some of these hot hands in there just to keep everything a little bit warm. Balance. Oh, look at the balance. All right, so you hold it. Vertical. Should I let go? Oh my God, it's hot. Got it? Yeah, Okay. Pull. First guitar pedal to space in three, two, one. Oh, I think that it's gonna go to space. I think after we uh, colonize Mars, they love guitars on We'll Mars. start. We'll start. Yeah, the Martians like they like guitar. Yeah, they, they don't play, have the equipment for it. They play guitar shit. Crazy. That thing flew off like a first child, firstborn child. Bye bye. So I just ran the trajectory tracker again, predictor. It's a little scary because it's gonna go south for a little bit and then it's gonna curve back around. It's gonna go all the way up through Florida. It's gonna pop right here at this location. And then with the parachute, it's gonna float back down and land right about here. Oh, the balloon's coming back. Well, we did it. We sent the first guitar pedal to space.
So it looks like we put a little less helium in there than we were predicting, but that's okay. Uh, you can tell because here's our trajectory, our estimated trajectory. It curls down and then it hits a different jet stream up here. Uh, so it's supposed to curl around a little bit faster based on the actual data as we're tracking it. It took a little bit longer to curl around. So what's probably gonna happen is it's gonna land further away because there's less positive lift, but that means it'll hit a higher altitude. We're in the car now, we're on the way to go pick up the weather balloon. I'm tracking it right now on this Garmin software. So if we click on the current location, it's at 87,000 feet. It's going about 20 miles an hour. And it should land somewhere in Valdosta, Georgia. It still has a ways to go elevation-wise. It should hit about 105,000 feet. Let's see, 99,800 feet. We thought this was gonna be 100,000. It's probably real cold up there. All right, here it is. 940, 101,500 feet. It's going 72 miles an hour. It's probably somewhere around negative 70 degrees, and the balloon is probably 30 feet in diameter right now. That's insane. Look at this, 101,500 feet. Nine fifty. Let's see where it's at. Oh, it started falling. It's at one hundred and two thousand feet now. It dropped. It was just at one hundred and seven. That means the parachute's deployed. Now we wait. Okay, let's check it again. I hope this thing's not plummeting to its death. It's already dropped 20,000 feet in two minutes, but that's fine. The way that it works is there's so little air up there that it's gonna fall really fast initially, but as the air gets denser and denser, the pressure increases, it'll slow down. It's this close to landing, and somehow we got it to land dead center of this small town, Quitman.
It's at 2,400 feet dead center of this town, so everybody there is probably like, what the heck is that thing? Let's get it. <laughs> you can just imagine what they're thinking right now. They were like, what the heck is that? That's insane to me. This could, we're getting it back at this point, for sure. I'm so excited to get this thing back. Yeah, it's still there. It hasn't updated. I'm gonna check a couple more times. If it doesn't update in 10 minutes, we know it's right there. We are 29 minutes away from picking this up and it still hasn't moved. So I guess nobody's picked it up. Hopefully it'll be there when we show up. That's so cool. They were like, whoa, where did that come from? You see it? Orange. In the is tree. it in a tree? In the tree yeah. You are oh, yeah. lying. No, it's, it's an orange tree in the tree right above. I see it, I see it, I see it. You can see the the, the parachute right here to the left. <gasps> oh! oh my god! <laughs> it's like hanging there perfectly, just waiting for us. Bro, that looks so funny. That's so Right on the roof. This is insane. It could not have landed. It's like over. right at arm height. We actually got this thing back. There we go. I can show this now. The line if I don't have the power line. You're almost there. This is the first guitar pedal ever sent to space, and we're about to check out the footage. I just checked it out on this tiny little GoPro screen, and this is the coolest weather balloon footage I have ever seen in my life. I'm about to take it out and put it on the computer so we can get a full screen view, but this is insane. 